Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is part 3 of my doll collection and today I'm going to be showing you guys my dolls. Um, I'm going to start with this huge box. Again, a lot of my stuff has been in storage just because it's really hard to maintain it all. So here I have um, a lot of dolls that I have not been seeing on my channel before and some that have. As you can see, my this is my foot compared to the box. So this box is pretty big. <laughs> uh, here's a little bit of the dolls in there. Um, I'm going to display them, clean them up a bit, and then I will show you. Okay, so here I have, these are just some doll stands. Uh, some of these I 3D printed, this one I 3D printed my printer. <laughs> so I'm going to be using some of my doll stands, some of the 3D printed ones and some from vintage dolls. But, yes. Okay, I got the dolls out of the box. So we're going to start with the Disney princesses. Some are from Hasbro, some are from Retail, and some are from the Disney store. Okay, so like I said, most of these are on doll stands, but some of them are, don't have any because <laughs> I don't want to get all my doll stands out. Okay, over here we have Aurora. She is from the Disney store. I don't even know. She's like four years old. She's in her original dress. I don't have her shoes at the moment. She's not in bad condition. Her hair is just in a ponytail, but could use a little conditioner. It's really dry. This Anna I got from the thrift store. Uh, she came out when Frozen, the first Frozen did, so Mattel originally made these dolls. Uh, so she's cute. Little bangs. She has everything except for her skirt. When I got her, she didn't have her skirt or shoes, but she has her original hairstyle and everything, and she's really pretty. Here we have Rapunzel. I actually got her new. Let's just get her out here. Uh, her hair is a little, her hair is dry, but it's at least in little braids and ponytails. Her face is fine. A little mark here. Um, she, some of the glitter has come off over time because, you know, dolls age naturally. Um, and sometimes it's just from wear, from videos. Uh, she had a skirt. I still have it. It's just, um, and some of my other storage bins. Um, move on out of the way. Here we have another Anna. I have five Annas, I think. Not, no, not all in the storage box, but here is this Anna. This one I got from eBay. She was posted on my channel almost two years ago. She has pink earrings that I gave her. These are just sewing pins. She has a little pen mark. I tried a magic eraser. I tried acetone. Nothing gets it off, unfortunately. Um, the rest of her face looks pretty fine. She's got her beautiful red hair. She originally had glue seepage where the glue that holds the hair in the head actually seeped out, so I fixed that. Uh, she's pretty slender. A lot of these dolls are really slender. She's just wearing a round part this is Barbie one. And then she has one of her shoes. She didn't come up this one, but. Over here is Merida. She hasn't been in storage for long. She was in one of my videos. She's in actually really good condition. Her hair is just in a braid to help her curls a little bit. This Mulan, unfortunately, is not in the best condition. I think I actually got her from eBay as well. She's got this awful sting that I cannot get off. She came with it. I can't get off with magic eraser or acetone. She's in her original dress though, and she's wearing bell shoes when she was in like the village outfit. Again, not all of these, not all my Disney Princess dolls are here. They are also in some of my other storage units. Um, you know, spins. Her hair is good, a little dry. Again, a lot of these dolls' hair is dry. But yeah, other than the little marks, she's actually pretty good. Here is Pocahontas. Again, her hair is pretty dry and brittle. Needs to be conditioned and washed. I just love her jawline. It's actually really pretty. I like her a lot. She's in her original dress. Uh, she didn't come with shoes, so <laughs> not that I remember. So she's, she, I still have all her accessories, um, except for, I don't know where her belt went, but other than that, that's good. <laughs> all I can smell is dust, oh my gosh. Uh, here we have Moana, she's got some dust in her hair. I got her from the Disney store. Uh, I gave her a haircut because her hair was naturally really dry and just not feeling very good when I got her. It's really crusty. Her face paint is really good. She's got a very small chip, but she unfortunately, um, she unfortunately did not have that. Like, no, fortunately, she did not come with that. It just happened over time. Again, really pretty. I love the diversity. She has joints. Not all these dolls have joints. Elbow and wrist joints. She's in a Barbie dress because she's, she's more, she was an Islander, so she's, you know, she's stronger, has more muscle. Um, her muscle, she didn't come with shoes though. And no Barbie shoes will fit her feet. Here we have another Anna. Uh, this one was given to me. She is one of my oldest ones. Cause I started collecting, I don't even know when like Frozen one came out or something. She's 
pretty. I like her eyes. She's She's been well loved over the years. She's, so unfortunately the sun has stained it a little bit. So now it's more of a green. I do, I do still have her skirt again. She's been used a lot. Um, she still has her freckles. Her face is pretty decent. Her hair is not dry. Her hair is not dry. It's still got its shine. It's still pretty. It's not, I'm shocked it's not dry. When they, when Mattel actually made their hair, it, they used, I think it was nylon, and nylon's are really good for doll hair. Um, but a lot of these use acetate, I think. So, <laughs> but I really liked when Mattel made the dolls. I'm really sad they don't do that anymore. I absolutely hate the new Hasbro ones. I mean, their faces are pretty, but their hair is absolute garbage. But, yes, I really miss Mattel. <laughs> That's why I collect Barbies more, because their hair is better quality. But there we go, that's her. And then the last one is this Cinderella. Again, uh, the hair is really is really bad. I don't like Hasbro dolls very much. It's just so dry and I just can't fix that hair. Cinderella's face is really pretty though. She has her choker, her natural dress, and then she is not wearing either of her shoes. I have those also in my little storage. Um, I keep all the of them in little, these little clear little drawers little clothes and shoes but she's pretty I mean I like her face I really hate how skinny these dolls are <laughs> for like 90 pounds like in real life they wouldn't even be able to stand but they're pretty I like her a lot that was it for the Disney princesses um I'm going to go show you guys the actual Barbies oh she's gonna take forever <laughs> okay um these are only some of the Barbies, just because I don't have enough desk room to show them all. So here we just have some of the fashionistas mostly. <laughs> We're gonna start with the front. This one was a fashionista that came with extra clothes. Don't know her name, but I called her Jade and I think she's really pretty. Again, she's been used over the years. I bought her new, but of course some things do happen to her like my cats. Um, yes, I know his name was Nala. It was we got it. I originally thought he was a girl, but he wasn't, so he's now Wally. <laughs> Anyways, enough about my cat. Uh, here is Blossom. I call her Blossom because she has these little flowers on her dress. She has her original dress. Um, her hair, again, needs, it's really dry, needs to be conditioned. She's pretty. I love the curvier dolls. Love the body positivity. I'm hoping they'll make an actual fuller figure doll, like a little more curvier than her. Really nice. Here we have, she was like $5. She was one of the cheaper ones. She was a little ballet Barbie. I just thought she was pretty. I liked her face mold and her skin color. Pretty. Uh, she's newer-ish, I don't know. Not too old. She, I don't know where her little skirt went. Here is, this was the original mascot for my channel. Her a lot just because um, the skin tone is the closest. Um, unlike my other doll, I used in the mascot. I used her a lot. She doesn't actually look like me, besides the height. I'm six foot and she is a tall Barbie, so she, that's why I used her is because she was tall and she was closer to my skin color. Uh, I don't remember her name. Uh, it was something. Oh no, no, I remember. It was Skylar. This is Skylar. <laughs> She's pretty. I like they actually gave her dark roots. I really appreciate that. The detail's good. Love her pretty brown eyes. She's just wearing a dress from another doll. I tend to change the doll's outfits a lot. She's got bigger feet. <laughs> I do too, so. Here we have, she's, this is actually her dress. <laughs> this is Rose, I think, called her Rose. Um, which is funny, because she's actually wearing her dress. She's really pretty. I absolutely love that she has green eyes. That's so beautiful. I like her a lot. Here we have Katie. She came with a bike and she has loose legs on purpose so that she could actually um, ride the bike. Again, I gave that bike away, you know, because I don't really need all these dolls. <laughs> I don't need all these. That's why. That's one of the main reasons why I, I kind of slowed down when it comes to buying them, because of the storage. And then to be honest, I, I'd rather give these to children who actually need them than me. Okay, on the back here we have Valerie. She was a fashionista. She came in a huge set with like four of the fashionistas, including her. 
she is really pretty i love her skin color again i really like the darker skin dolls they're really beautiful she has these beautiful intense eyes she's wearing another fashionista dress no shoes i have all the shoes i just sometimes like the dolls to be barefoot she's beautiful off her little highlights in her hair she's the petite doll she actually is like one of my only petite ones here we have nicole she's an astronaut she came with a tall barbie she's still in storage i have to get her up um she's not wearing her original outfit she's wearing the outfit that came with this young lady uh but she's really pretty she originally had gelled hair but i just washed it i did not like gel it was just too crunch. it just did not look right natural this one is the one i got from ebay uh she's got a heck of a lot of makeup on <laughs> look a little clonge there barbie uh her hair is it's just there you know she's wearing a dress she actually has shoes her legs came bent, unfortunately, when I got it from eBay. If you want to watch the video, like I said, it'll probably be in the description. But keep in mind, I have changed a lot since then. I filmed that three years ago. My voice is a lot mm, high-pitched, and the editing is not as good. <laughs> Here we have Allie. She's my unicorn doll. She can be in a unicorn shirt. She's wearing Valerie's dress right there. Love her little tint. The tinsel is really pretty. That's why I thought she kind of reminded me of a unicorn. I bought her a suit as she came out. I'm like, yep, got to get this doll. Here we have Willow. Uh, her eye unfortunately printed smaller on the side. I don't know what happened. I got it from Amazon. She's average, you know, she's pretty. I still have all the clothes for her. Now that's it for this, this small collection of dolls. There's still more of the Barbies I need to, need to show you. Whew. This video turns out to be like an hour long. I am sorry guys, there's just so much to look at. And I'm not even done with looking at all the play sets, so this is gonna be a while. Oh, about 10 minutes later, I have the rest of the Barbies in that box. So up front, we have the swimsuit Barbies. Some of these are actual swim Barbies and some of these just come with printed on swimsuits. So here we have the three swim ones. This is, I didn't, let's see. Uh, this was Malin, Amber, and then Summer. They both have printed on swimsuits. She is very, very, very old. Uh, yeah, you can even see, just look at her scalp. She's aging, unfortunately. I used her so much, so she's a little wear down, but that's okay, just means she's been well loved. <laughs> if you notice the difference here, her waist is smaller, so over time, Barbie has actually had more realistic body proportions instead of looking like a freaking, oh, I don't even know. Um, <laughs> Cause beauty, beauty standards are so toxic these days, you know? just awful she is the newer wave i think they made like so many different kinds of swimsuit barbies but she's one of the newer ones um she's like i don't know seven years old or something uh, here we have her she came with the mer uh, unicorn carriage which i will show you later she's beautiful she has this really shiny hair it's got a little wave at the bottom beautiful she has high heels she's high heel shoes and then she's got flat throat and flat feet yeah here we have, this is a Nutcracker Barbie, I believe. She was one of the ones I got off eBay. Uh, I got her and her hair had been cut, so it's still a little work, it's work in progress. She used to do poses, but she broke, unfortunately, just because of wear. Um, she had been rusting <laughs> where her kidneys are. <laughs> Here we have one of my mermaid ones. She was in the My Mermaid series. Uh, her hair is still crazy vibrant. She's beautiful. She's a Dreamtopia one, and then she still lights up. She's not that bad, actually. She's, I've always loved that little pink eyeshadow she had. She's really pretty. I really think she's, she's one of the most pretty, like, all the dolls are pretty, but she's got my favorite hair out of all of them. Okay, so over here, we have the news reporter Barbie. She is, she's a curvy one. So she's wearing a rose necklace. Here we have a doctor one. I don't even know what she's wearing. Here we have another of the older ones. Her hair has been seen better days. Here we have a fashionista, not in her original clothes. <laughs> uh, here we have the dream horse girl. She came with the dream horse. She's beautiful. I love her hair. Up here, the ones on the stands, we have another doll called Katie. She's the robotics Barbie. She's just wearing a nurse uniform. Here we have the superhero Barbie that came with that. She was in the superhero Barbie movie. Uh, she's old too. And that's it for the Barbies. I still have more miscellaneous dolls. Okay, now we're going to move on to the miscellaneous dolls, like the Chelsea's. So here we have some Chelsea's. These, I don't know, she came with a horse or something. 
Uh, here we have these. Came in a little rainbow set right here. I'm only missing two. <laughs> I think they're my other storage bins. Um, here we have, um, I don't know what it is. Uh, Nelly, I think. Angelica. Uh, regrets. Uh, I don't even know. Emerald. Um, Angelina. Or I don't remember her name now. Her name is Emmy. Another Chelsea. This is another Chelsea. Um, oh, here we have some little taller ones. These came in little skipper sets. Uh, these two are just babies. And then these are my OMG. No, not OMG. These are the LOL ones. She came with an OMG sister. So, as you can tell, she's... I haven't even used her at all. She's just one I bought out of curiosity when these dolls came out. I'm like, hmm, what is up with these dolls? I've never really been into the LOL ones, except when it comes to the bigger ones. I find those more enjoyable. Not a huge fan of the tiny things, but they're cute. This one is one of the hairdos. Um, she's lemon scented. I only I bought her again out of curiosity. I'm like, hmm, what are these dolls? <laughs> uh, we're not even gonna start on the American girls. They're all just really bad condition. They were given to me just because this person didn't want them anymore. But they're they're not in the best condition. Um. So I'm gonna have to really fix these. These just came really trashed. They're pretty, but their hair is just awful. Um, on to the bigger dolls. Here we have, we have Fluttershy. I cut her hair short. Again, I used to love My Little Pony and I bought her because I was, again, this was out of curiosity, but I love her a lot. Her hair is great. Super pretty Fluttershy. Hi, everybody. It's me, Fluttershy. <laughs> Uh, Wonder Woman from the new Superhero Girls. I have Katana. Um, and then here we have Starfire from the old Superhero Girls. She's got some acne. <laughs> uh, I really don't like this doll. Yeah. <laughs> I'll probably give her away to some little girl who would actually want her once I clean her up. Pretty, but again, I don't need her. So, bye-bye. Um, then we have some more dolls, just because I'm running out of desk room. I have some Project MC Squared. Uh, don't get me started on her. They're absolute garbage. Uh, their limbs fall off. I don't like her. Sorry, I might. I just, I don't know why they, the limbs just fall off. I had to super glue her legs because they just kept coming undone. Uh, this is like a 90s, 80s can, something around that line. I got him from eBay from the eBay haul. He is in pretty rough condition, his hair. Again, not really, not a, one of my favorite dolls. <laughs> he's a little too orange. Uh, yeah, look at that. He's, he's so tan, like, just, just, I'm pretty pale, and look at him. <laughs> so, uh, he's uh, tanning a little too much. Uh, I don't even know when he's came out, like. Okay, oh, this came 1968, so this mold. Okay, so he's probably from the 70s or something around that line. <laughs> those abs, oh my gosh. I don't even know what to do with him. He's just, no, he's never going to be in a video of mine, I doubt. Um, unless he's going to put up a dad or something. He looks like he could be your dad. <laughs> Another can I got from the 80s. His hair had been cut. He was from eBay. Uh, we don't talk about these dolls. <laughs> we don't talk about these cans. They're, mm. I have three rays. This is the one I did not make over. So she's... It's so crazy. I bought her when the movie came out, but I don't like them. <laughs> They're hair. Here is the lovely diva. She's just very there. <laughs> Pretty, I need to fix her hair though. This is it for the dolls in that box. I'm gonna get on to the play sets. Okay, and the last doll in this box is Katana. She's Pretty. It's either it's either Katana or Zatana, one of the two, because there's two dolls with the exact same name, but <laughs> they look completely different. I think this is Zatana. Yeah, she's super pretty. Also known as Zatara on the TV show. Super cute. I totally forgot about her. She was the last one in the bin, but she blends out of everything, so she's so cute. Aww. These are the only three dolls that I have that superheroes. Nice. On to the play sets. Here we have this set. I got this for $30. It's a Dreamtopia horse, and she's super pretty. She's got the little wings. 
this is in perfect condition. Like I don't even see any marks at all. It's she's really pretty. Um, I don't remember what I called her. But I love that you can open her wings. Um, <clears throat> and then she carries this little around behind her and you can actually just lift this up and your doll can stand. Here's the doll that came with this, super pretty. Um, and then I can just lift this up. There we go, she's standing. She looks super cool. <clears throat> this is the Dreamtopia carriage. It came with her, super cool, I like that a lot. The next item is this Dreamtopia carousel for Chelsea dolls. It's actually really cute. Whee! I'll go get some Chelsea dolls. This set fits the little baby and then an actual Chelsea so they can go swing. It's actually really cute. I got this for, uh, it was either 15 or 20. Sometimes this does come off though because it, I need to like, get some tweezers and pinch that a little bit. But other than that, it's super cute. Okay, just cause this video is getting way too long, I'm gonna show the rest of my play sets in part five. Thank you so much for watching everyone and have a nice day. Goodbye. I guess that's just the way Holding on, I know a day will come when I can be myself again, and I hope someone will.